Okay, I'm just going to put a stop in as I'm threading out. I don't want things to move. So, um, if we do need to alter anything or anything moves, we'll be able to put it back exactly where we got it from before. Swap the uh, chuck over to a drill chuck. There we go. Just in case anything should go wrong, we've always got a stop to work to. Okay. tighten the work. I don't know about you, but I just get lathered in oil on this job. Look at this. <laughs> anyway, it's just like being back as a mechanic. I should have been out buying a car lift today, but uh, I'm going to buy a new one, I think, rather than uh, a second hand one. People want so much money for the second hand four posters. I think I'm going to be better off with a, a two poster, but it's been such an horrible day. Uh, I'll come in here and keep it warm and dry. Plenty of time to do that kind of thing. Of course, this is more fun. Right, so we've got that. Now we've just got to line up, find a drill bit and line all this up. Right, I have an app on my phone for drill bits, uh, tapping tool. So we tap into that. It's uh, metric. And we put the size in, which was M4. And now that gives me the the correct you can see that gives me the correct drill for the job, which is 3.3 or 1 8th or US number 30, and that's M47 at 76 percent. So I'll go route around so if I can find a 3.3. Right, okay, we're all self in the mill. Now, I've got a DRO on this, and we've got what's known as SDM function. And um, what that means, what that means is I can set the coordinates for each one of these and save them. So no matter at where I go and drive this mill around, wherever I go, I can always come back to these holes, okay? Now I've set this as one, SDS, SDM1, you can use a reference point at the corner of your vice, your first reference point, you could be over here with your reference point if you wanted to, but I've chose to SDM1 is there, so that's on the money. Now another way I've checked it is, and I'll show you the DRO in a minute, is I've put that on there, look, like moi lined it all up just to make sure my eye and that's fits in there quite nicely so that that's another way of sort of of references referencing we're in the right place and you can do that with all three so, and I've done it as well so so that's my first reference so what we're going to do now is we're going to drive across to this one and uh, I'll show the DRO and then um, we'll look down and see if we're in the right place. Okay? So let's move you around. Um, my battery isn't flat, so I'm plugging into the electric. So, um, right, okay. So up here, you can see, I mean, SDM1, and we're all at zero, well, apart from a couple of tenths. But, I, you know, that, that's nothing. So, um, that's where our first hole is, as I've just shown you. So we're going to now move across to SDM2. So if we go up SDM2, we need to zero that. So let's zero it, and let's see if we're on the money.
and hopefully I'm going the right way. So with zero zero, zero zero, the Z doesn't really matter, but with zero zero, STM2. So we should now be over hole number two. Let's have a look. Okay, and there we have it. We're in the right place. So DROs are, you know, they're just absolutely fantastic. Best thing I ever, I ever got by far. So we're in the right place. So number three, again, let's have a look at the DRO. So we go up to number three, SDM three, and we need to zero these out. Now if you've noticed that it's 34 thou out, because that one hole is, is further over. It's not in line with the other three at all, the other two at all, it's just, it's out of whack. So we'll zero us up and we'll have a look to see where we are. Okay, and then we're going to move the Y into zero as well. So if you haven't got a DRO, um, it's... Uh, you can you can still write it all down. I mean, all this is really is a, is a form of memory. So you can still write all your coordinates down from your dials. You know, I used to do it, so you still can still can do that. Right, let's have a look. So it's SDM up here, SDM number three. That's our third position hole we want to drill, and it's zero zero zero. If you went back into um, ABS or incremental mode, it would show it as where it is from position one. So we want to be back in STM and it's STM number three. Let's go back. Right, STM three. So STM two is point is one point five seven three and then obviously there's a difference here and uh, STM one is back again would be Minus. Right, let's go back. So number three, zero, zero, zero. Let's have a look. See if we're on the mark. And yes, we are. So where we set it is is absolutely perfect. So if we put that back on there. That's where we're going to be. I'm a bit surprised that drill bit going through that. Right. Okay, so now we know where we are. So I'm going to go pick my granddaughter up now, and that will be it for tonight. So uh, we'll try, if we can, to get to it tomorrow morning. And uh, have, a, have another go. So that's what uh, DROs do for you. And uh, they, if you haven't got one, well worth buying one. I'll just show you the, the guy I got it off. He's, he's called CBR. Um, I'm sure you can see it there. <coughs> it's a Simpo, as you can see here. And this is the guy I got it off. He's a bloke called Colin at CBR Electronics Limited. Um, it's electronics.cbr at gmail.com and his name's Colin, there's a telephone number there, I'm sure you can see it. Um, great guy, absolutely from Nottingham, great guy, he fits them as well, he didn't fit mine, I did it myself, any advice, uh, you know, he's, I, I wouldn't say he's expensive, but he is a seriously nice guy, I don't normally promote, promote anybody, but um, this guy he is a really nice guy. Okay, right, we'll... Uh, Get back at it tomorrow morning.